Let's get an educational take on perspectives now. Let's talk to the Deputy Head of Secondary at Sun Mart School. Sun Mart School is part of Forte's Education right here in the UAE. Tracy Bishop joins us live on the line. Morning to you, Tracy. Good morning. How are you? First of all, apologies for coming to you a little late, because I know that uh, we should have been with you a few minutes ago. But uh, uh, I've got that excuse out of the way. Do you see this trend? Because uh, you instill into all the pupils that are under your tutelage to be on time for everything. And yet, later on in life, we let these standards slip. Yes, I do see, I do see the trend. Um, we have a, a strong emphasis of children attending school on time and getting to lessons on time. Um, unfortunately, one of the issues in terms of the culture of Dubai is that people do seem to think it's okay to be late. So regular conversations with parents are to, why do you mark my child late, etc., when I was the person who brought them late to school. Well, instilling that culture in the parents is a challenge in itself. I think really it's about collectively, when you're in school and when you go on into education later, you work as part of a team. And it is the we, not the me. And what kind of uh, consideration and empathy are you showing for your team if you are not turning up on time? Mm. Be it whatever activity that you are doing, um, you know, you're collectively working together. So this is why we insulate in our students. And if they do turn up for whatever reason, late to school or slightly late to lessons, with genuine reasons, we expect an explanation and a formal explanation with eye contact, courtesy and sincerity. And I think that um, it's very important that, that these kind of values are instilled in our students. Um, if, if not being on time is, is, is a bad habit that you can uh, fall into and get worse and worse and worse, does that mean that being on time is a good habit that needs to be encouraged and nurtured? Yes, of course. I think that, that students need to understand that there is an expectation to be on time for, for, for everything. And I think that the majority of, of students, certainly here at Sunmark, totally take that on board and understand it. You know, you can see them running a little bit quicker into school just before the national anthem goes off in the morning, you know, rushing up to, up to the to their form um, time because it's something that we instill in them. And as children get older, as they go on to the sixth form, um, it's no... Um, in every school that I have worked in, I've been an educationist for, for over 20 years, you've always noticed that the tardiness creeps in when they get into the later teenage years. And this is where you really have to um, instill the impact that tardiness has on, on their peers and the collective workplace. And um, you look at it from a slightly different angle rather than doing as they're told, thinking about the impact that that tardiness and lateness can have on, um, on, the, on the people around them. Tracy, what about when it comes to parents? You know, we all have very busy lives. There's a lot on our plate. A lot of parents run late for meetings with schools, parents' evenings. How do schools deal with that, especially when parents are also trying to set the example for their children? Mm -hmm. it's, uh, um, with, with, uh, with everything that you deal with, do you listen to the reasons that the, that, that the parents present? And do you perhaps come up with um, suggestions like, you know, getting up earlier and um, hitting the roads earlier in the morning that will help those parents understand that it's not acceptable to be, to be late? Um, however, yes, we have busy lives. So, for example, if it's the parents' evening, you know, we give um, different times that parents can arrive to parents' evenings. If we have open evenings, we offer a staggered start with two, three, four, maybe slots where the parents can come in. Um, but what you do find, particularly, and it's not just in schools, it's in all aspects of Dubai life, whether you go to the theatre or to an event, that people do come late. And I think that... Um, you know, talking from somebody who comes from a British curriculum background, it is something that is a um, slight culture shift to what our expectations are, shall we say. So dealing with that balance is a challenge for, for all of us in education here in Dubai. So you do find that different cultures treat time and timekeeping differently? Yes, definitely. And there's a sensitivity there, and there always is, and uh, particularly in Dubai where we've got lots of different cultures together, we do find that, um, you know, you know, that perhaps 
some cultures have different approaches to, 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 to timekeeping. And in some cultures, it's not particularly rude to turn up late. Um, so managing that is, is always a challenge for us here in schools. But however, this is a British curriculum school and we expect British standards moving forward. So children are expected to be on time, on time for lessons, and we instill that in everything we do. But they do need daily reminders, of mm. course. Tracy, lovely to speak to you this morning. Big thanks to you and all the team down at Sunmark. Uh, have yourself a lovely day and a lovely long weekend as well. Oh, thank you very much. OK, take care. Take care. Stop. Tracy Bishop there, Deputy, Deputy Head of Secondary at Sunmark School. Sunmark's part of Fortress Education right here in the region. For, recently, Fortress Education teachers went through training on positive education, encouraging the teaching of good values and good habits, amongst others.